Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on WebLogic. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create domain in WebLogic 12.2. The normal way of creating domain like in the WebLogic 10 or WebLogic 10.1 is different than the WebLogic 12.2. So make sure you are following the correct procedure to, correct, to create the domain. So let's start today's tutorial. In order to create the domain in WebLogic, particularly for the Windows system, we can go to the command prompt that is CMD. I'll type just CMD and run that as an administrator. So we need to have the administration administrator as a role for that our given system. If you are doing on the Unix, it's the command is very straightforward. You have to directly log on to your console and you have to provide the appropriate command for particularly on the Windows system we have to go to the our installed directory if you were, if you are following my previous videos then you you might have remember we have installed our web logic at the C drive location and the the root directory or the home directory for the web logic is C web logic inside that we have to go to the Oracle common inside that common and there is a bin directory so that is what i have mentioned the path here let me copy that path copy that path and at this location you will find the config.ss so if you notice this is oracle common so most of the tools are present inside this oracle common folder so let's go to the command so in order to configure the domain for the web logic we have to run config.cmd on windows system on unix it is config.ss so whenever we click the config.cmd and click enter button you will get this pop-up message so here we have to provide the the location for the domain so my domain name is base domain you can create any domain there is no restriction so i'll give you the name as uh, Okay, W WebLogic domain, and I will make note of that domain also. As a for our register or remember, uh, remembering the all the things, it's good to note during the installation. So we have to select create a new domain. Give give the path. Click on the next button. So what we would like to do? So first thing here, it will ask us create a domain using product template, or you can use the custom template. So I will see, um, I will select the product template and select the all template from that. When you select that, you will see the what are the options we have. We have the basic WebLogic server domain, WebLogic advanced web service for the JAX RPC, WS, cluster extension, and JMS. So I'll just use the basic WebLogic server domain. However, in your project, if you have the different requirement where you have to use the JAX RPC also, then you have to use the appropriate domain template. Click on the next button. So it will take us to the next uh, section that is administrator account. So let me give the username as the WebLogic and password as welcome one. Of course, you can use any other password and username. There is no restriction. But make sure you must follow the um, password must contain eight alphanumeric character. At least one number is one number or special character. So that is we have to follow. And we already make the note of that user credentials. If it is development environment, we have to make sure you use the development. If it is production, then production. Also, we have to choose the appropriate uh, JDK. So, whenever we install actual web logic, we provide the JDK also. So, it by default select from that path. If you want to choose from your own directory, you have the privilege to do that. After all this, selecting the properties, make sure if you notice if it is development, utilize boot dot properties for username and password, and poll for the application to deploy. If it is production, require the entry of 
a username and password and do not pull for the application to deploy so this is the difference particularly if you choose the development or production domain let's click next button so it will ask us what kind of installation you want to do in your project so i will say i will create the administrator server node manager and topology to add delete modify settings for managed server clusters virtual targets and coherence so you have this control if you use the topology as well click on the next button what is the name of your admin server i'll keep the name of admin server is same as what are de by default coming so just i'm making note of that admin server listener a uh, listener listen address so you can choose the all local address and you can define the port so by default it is picking as a 7001 i will say port and i will keep as it is for the local if you want to enable ssl you can enable if you want to ssl listener port you have to provide that whenever you enable ssl if you remember the port whatever we are providing for the listener port it must be between 1 and 65535 because of the different port the other applications run so we make sure this port should not collide click next node manager type per domain default uh, location so if you see the default location is this if you want to just inside okay i will just make a note of the node manager it is inside the c drive web logic user project which we just created as a folder during domain creation and inside domain where our domain will reside web logic domain is our domain and inside that we'll have the node manager so this is location node manager credential i will prefer to use a similar kind of username so that i don't have to worry or remember all these passwords particularly for the domain and the node manager so i'm just keeping the same click on the next okay so as a note i'll just making the note for the node manager username password also so these are the various steps so make sure you're con con while creating configuring you're making note of all those components let's add the server so my managed server is named as a managed server one which runs on the port 7003 you can use any other also manage server this name and port is 7003 you can create n number of managed server but for now i'll just create one managed server if you want to enable ssl you can enable and just click on the next so if you remember for for now we have created admin server node manager and managed server then now we are going to add the cluster so normally cluster is involved if you have the multiple servers but here for the just demo i'm just trying to create cluster there is there will not be multiple servers this is my cluster click next here the server template just for the additional configuration if you don't want to create then do not create the uh, template also it's not mandatory click next so server template is undefined it says okay let's select the default configuration click and i will add the manage server inside that cluster click next we'll add machine 
machine m is machine machine 1 and it has port uh, node manager listener port is triple five six I would say node manager listener port so this is done let's click next add the uh, admin server and manage server inside machine so we add it click next here it will ask us to add the virtual target so I'm just adding simple it is not mandatory but just for the basic configuration we are doing so that you will not miss in future click on the next Do you want to add partition? Add the partition if you want. You can just discard change and click on the next. So you can see the summary. What are the things you are going to install as a part of the domain? And you have to just hit the create button. So this will create the actually domain for us. So now if you see the first step it executed is copy unprocessed artifact then security processing, artifact generation, string substitution and port processing. Just click on the next. So it gives us successful message a new domain WLS underscore domain got created. This is the location and this is my uh, admin server URL. So if you want to use this, you can use to access the WebLogic server will actually use the host spoil to modify this name so right now this is not accessible because server is not started so let's open this directory so as i already said it's inside the domain weblogic user projects domain and this is domain got created and the other configuration files i hope this tutorial will help you to create a domain and if you have any questions about web logic installations then you can mention inside the comment section of this video thank you for watching my video and have a nice time